Hello friends, this video on binomial theorem part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched binomial theorem part 1 and part 2. Let's try to prove the same thing using pattern. So if you see this pattern, when you say a plus b to the power 0, this is 1. Where obviously a plus b should not be equal to 0. If you say a plus b to the power 1, this becomes a plus b. When you say a plus b to the power square, it becomes a square plus 2ab plus b square. When you say a plus b to the power cube, you get this. When you say a plus b to the power 4, you get a square plus 4, a cube b, this, this, this. If you see the pattern, there's a pattern here. If you see, this guy is a plus b, 1 plus 1. This guy is a square plus 2 plus b square, 2 ab. This guy is a cube, 3 a square b plus 3 ab square. This guy is b cube. Coefficient is 1. Here you see a4, 4, 4 a cube b, 6 a square b square, 4 ab square. I like this. So when you say to the power 0, this is 1. So there is no coefficient. When you say a plus b, this guy is a and this guy is for b. When you say a plus b whole square, this 1 a square, you get 2 ab, right? And you get 1 b square. Similarly for 3, this you get 1 a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 ab square plus 1 b cube. Similarly for 4, you get 1 a 4, 4 a cube b plus 6 a square b square plus 4 a b cube plus b 4. So this is the pattern actually. If you see this is a pattern and we have observed that for example if you see 1, 1 is equal to 4 c 0. 4 is equal to 4c1, 6 is equal to 4c2, this is equal to 4c3 and this is equal to 4c4. If you see in this case our n was 0, here n was 1, here n was 2, here n was 3 and here n was 4. So we observe that these are the term is by ncr where r is equal to 0 to n. So in this case if you see n is equal to 4, this is 4c0. 4c1 because r is equal to 0 to n, 4c2, 4c3, 4c4. Here is in this case r is n is equal to 3. So it will be 3c0 because r is from 0 to 3. This is 3c1, 3c2, 3c3. So what you observed is the pattern is of form n c r where r range from 0 to n and n is the power of a plus b. So with this pattern we have observed that this is the coefficient coefficient is in this form. Also we observe that if you see the sum of the power is always 2 or n. For example here we have a plus b to the power 1 so this is 1 a to the power n this is 1. When you see a plus b to the power 2 this is a square this is 1 plus 1 is 2 here this is 2 plus 0. When you see a plus b to the power 3 this becomes a to the power 3 this is 3 this is equal to 2 plus 1 because a has 2 power b has 1 power here a has 1 power, b has 2 power, here b has 3 power. If you add 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. Here also if you see, 4 plus 0 is equal to 4, here 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, 2 plus 2 4, 1 plus 3 4, 4 plus 0 4. So there is a pattern here, the pattern is the first that we have the coefficient as ncr plus the number of, uh, the sum of power is always constant that is n and also the number of term is equal to n plus 1. If you see, when you say to the power 1, it becomes 1 plus 1, 2. When you say to the power a, a plus b to the power 2, this is 2 plus 1, it's equal to 3. So there are 3 terms. When you say a plus b to the power 3, this is 4 term, 1, 2, 3, 4. When you say a plus b to the power 4, it has 5 term, 4 plus 1. So it has, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So observing all this thing that number of terms is n plus 1 and the power is always n and ncr is the coefficient. Going by all these three, we can design the formula that a plus b to the power n should be equal to sigma k is equal to 0 to n. We say nck because we have seen the coefficient or we will say r only r, r is equal to 0 to n, ncr and here we see the coefficient is done and here for the power of a and b you see it keeps here a to the power 3, a to the power 2, 1, 0. So a to the power is decreasing, b to the power is increasing, 1, 2, 3. 
Here also you see 8th power is decreasing 3, 2, 1, 0. Here it is increasing 1, 0, it will be to the power 0, be to the power 1, be to the power 2, be to the power 3, be to the power 4. So we can form this 8 to the power n minus r. You keep the increasing increase in the value of r, this guy decrease and b to the power. You keep increasing the value of r, this guy increase. So this is the formula which we can derive going by the pattern. So here what we have done, we have found the pattern, we have squared, we have found a plus b to the power n for various numbers and we found that there is a pattern and based on the pattern, we have derived this formula that a plus b to the power n is equal to ncr a to the power n minus r because if you increase this value, this should decrease and b to the power because if you increase this value, this is increase. This is in the negative side, so it will decrease the value of uh, the power of a. This is in the positive side, so it will increase the power of b. This is the formula we have derived from the pattern. So in the last slide we have seen, we have proved the formula using induction. In this slide we have proved the same formula using our pattern. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free education videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more.